where we're gonna be working today, the water was four feet deep in the house. We're gonna be there with the excavator, the skid steer. Bill's gonna be our safety guy. He's gonna be best today. I'll come show you where you get your lunches ice buckets along the audio um, unit. We're in Johnson City, Tennessee. We responded to a flood which happened here on August the 5th. The flood really wasn't in the national news. Local news is where we picked it up from. We were asked to respond here and uh, came into the, uh, the biggest affected area was the Dry Creek area. We're blessed and fortunate to be partnering with Boone Trail Baptist Church here in Johnson City. Taking volunteers every day, 7.30 in the morning we do orientation, 12.30 in the afternoon orientation. It is a partnership and we're working for the glory of God. The volunteers here are going to be doing a lot of different things. We're going to be recovering personal property out of flooded debris. We're going to be removing mud, silt, rock from the property. Also be doing mud outs, gut outs, mold remediation. I'm Ernie Thompson and I go to Boone Trail Baptist Church in Johnson City. There was a lot of water that come through here, started uh, trees coming down, dumped a lot of rocks and sand. Right now we're taking out these trees and uh, trying to clear it up, cut them up, try to restore it back to normal. This is my second time volunteering. The first time was in Minnesota. My wife and I have supported Samaritan's Purse for a number of years, you know, financially and I've always wanted to come volunteer and uh, you know, you always wait for the right time, and there's never exactly the right time, so at some point you just have to go. They are my neighbors, and I think it's such a great opportunity to really communicate God's love, and also just be kind of open to the homeowners that we might be able to minister to them. When it first started, it didn't look too bad. Then all of a sudden it came up waist high within a matter of 15 minutes. Just as I got home, I stopped at the top of the driveway because I couldn't get to my house. The water was really rushing and it was already over the chain link fence. So me and my husband were talking back and forth. He was inside the house with all the water and I was outside. I, I couldn't get in, he couldn't get out. It first started boiling through the floor vents and then the water just kept getting deeper and deeper and actually got about to the middle of the windows. I told my wife on the phone, I said, if the, if the windows don't hold, I'm a goner. That's how bad it was. And it was really, really rushing through here. No flood insurance. It destroyed my business. I have a remodel business and I had a shop here on the property and it's gone. We had 20 years invested in building this place up and it was all wiped out in 15 minutes. It makes you feel like wanting just to give up until Tony come in and give us a little hope. Tony McNeil came out with, he's with Samaritan Purse. and said they could clean up the whole area gut the house for us and get it ready to put back together. Nobody else can do that. Samaritan Purse has got the resources and equipment to do that. It was absolutely a relief because we didn't know what we were going to do. I mean, it just restores your faith in human beings, you know, and it restores your faith in Christ because he left me here for some reason, I guess, to rebuild. <laughs> now, it's just amazing to see that we always get the question, why are you doing this? Why would you come from all over the United States to help me here in Johnson City, Tennessee? And we get the pleasure then of telling them, we're doing as God commanded us to go and do likewise. We're coming alongside them, helping them. And what a blessing it is to be able to tell the homeowner that you can't purchase our services. This price was paid on the cross by our Lord and Savior.